and gentlemen, meet the Infinity EX35. Is it a wagon? Is it a crossover? Or is it Nathan? I'll tell you what it is. It's a damn wagon. Not only that, but it's a $45,000 wagon. That's about what this one costs at least. And it's a wagon for people who would rather have a caramel macchiato over a cup of coffee. Or is it a sports car? That's what I was about to say. Well, let's find out together. I said sports car because the Infinity has a sloping roof, which makes it look cool, but really cuts down the amount of space back here. Let's see if Nathan fits. You fit, Nathan. Yeah, it's pretty good as long as the seats are down. With the sloping roof, I can't fit in the back. Hey, have you seen this party trick? If I push this button, check this out, man. The back seats come up. Ain't that cool? That is pretty nifty. I mean, it's, it's a gizmo. It's not really that useful, but I guess it's kind of cool. Do so you think there's a lot of room back here? Oh, yeah, as long as the seats are down. Yeah, let's find out. Let's try this button over here. Yeah, no, 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 hey, oh, come on, oh, man, come on. Dude, dude. <laughs> Sitting behind the wheel of the Infinity, you really get a sense that you're behind the wheel of the G sedan. It's intimate, it's comfortable, and it's cozy, making for Nathan. Oh, <laughs> it's got a low roof for a high wagon. Yeah, that's cozy. Let me ask you a question. Okay, yeah, sure, it's comfortable here, but what's the deal with this? The three slashes. Is it like dragon style? Hwacha! Or maybe a little Wolverine? Shangaka! Why are they here? Does it really matter, Nathan? A traditional 7-speed automatic, 3.5 liters of Nissan goodness, and 297 horsepower. What's not to like about this engine? Well, I can tell you right now. This engine is from the VQ series that dates way back into the 80s. It's a little bit old, and considering that Nissan is the same car company that builds the amazing handmade GTR V6, I don't really understand the purpose of this engine. Just wait till you drive it, Nathan. You know, Nathan, there are two ways that this does feel like a sports car. First, it's pretty tight in here. For an SUV crossover kind of thing, it doesn't have a hell of a lot of room. And the economy... The economy. Uh, combined, 19 miles per gallon. That's not very economical. No, but 297 horsepower is not gonna... Well, it's not gonna sip gas. Uh, this is not an off-road vehicle by any stretch of the imagination. Not even a little. But, in terms of all-wheel drive, yeah. Okay, so it's got a hatch. It's all-wheel drive. All right, Nathan, if this is indeed a sports car, it should accelerate like a sports car. How fast do you think the 60? Uh, around seven seconds, maybe, at this altitude. I'm going to shut the snow setting off. I'm ready to go. All right, remember, we're at over a mile, so above sea level, that is. Ready? Accelerate when ready. It's going. This thing's got some chops. It does. It's ripping shifts like a sport bike. Holy cannoli. Should be right about now. There you go. All right, what do you suspect that is? Uh, seven and a half seconds. Maybe, maybe seven seconds. All right, I'm going to let you know. Click save and zero to 60 in 7.1 seconds, which really means it'll be like six seconds if you were at sea level. That's pretty I fast. I think it'd be, yeah, that is actually really fast. And this thing, remember, it's got street tires and it's icy. We didn't really slip that much, but it certainly didn't help. No, so it's not the most scientific of tests, but it is real. Is the Infinity a station wagon? Is it a sports car? Or <laughs> is it a crossover? You know, I wonder what Nathan thinks. Yes. <laughs> I guess that means all of the above. As always, this is Roman and Nathan. See you guys next time for the Fast Lane Car. Hi folks, this is Nathan Adlin doing a serious review for the fast lane car. If you notice, I'm in the back seat. There's not a lot of room for my legs. <laughs> Upon exiting the vehicle, I find that the passageway is very narrow. Entering the front seat is relatively easy with much larger ports. I hope you've enjoyed this fast lane car review. <laughs>